Yo, 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 what's going on everybody? It is your boy, it is John from the Gamer Dude here, welcoming you all to another episode of The Saga Lock, episode 186, y'all. I can't believe it's already episode 186. It's kind of insane, it's kind of wild. Um, Now, I updated OBS, and I have not messed with it since I updated it. So, we're just, you know, go straight into it. You know, might as well. Definitely not a me thing to do, so I'm a little bit stressed, but it's fine. We're going to make it work. You can tell I'm stressed because I use the but it's fine. Um, but let's go ahead and get to this team because we have uh, some information for you all. We have a new flyer. Um, we're riding on Bowser. Uh, because... Uh, Clickbait, the Lopini, has suction caps of ice grip and strength, double team, and fly. I don't quite know how I feel about that yet. But my options were this or Siren. And I'm not flying on freaking Siren, okay? No, no, no. I could have kept it on Snorlax too, but Snorlax needed his set. But, you know, we got Siren with Aqua Wing, Giga Drain, Water Pulse, and Soak. Water Pulse, yes, Water Pledge. Then we have Oogle Blip. Holding the Miracle Seed at the current moment with Energy Ball, Amnesia, Mist Ball, and Aeroblast. Now, Mr. Mr. Charizard has conveniently let me know, hey, just so you know, Aeroblast crits easier. So if you wanted to, like, remove the scope lens from uh, Snorlax, that's an option. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, then we have Lazy Larry, speaking of our Snorlax. With the Scope Lens, new moveset of Slash, Slack Off, Night Slash, and Focus Energy. I really didn't see a use for Fly. Um, the biggest thing that we really couldn't hit was Steel Type. And, you know, Fly does not really help us with that. So, carrying on, we have Curious with Vital Throw, Magical Leaf, Bite, and Seed Bomb. And then we got Troll with a new move, a Metal Claw, Toxic, Venishock, Cross Poison. Our team is looking pretty good, pretty solid. I like it a lot, um, and we're going to move on. I do not like Lopini in the front, but I feel like our team is our team is in a very weird bind, and being in said bind, you got to kind of take a look at everything that is around. Is it possible that we have issues? Of course we do. It's literally Pokemon. If you didn't have issues, there'd be a problem. Speaking of issues... Can I access this point? Or will he say no? Whoa! He didn't say no. Ah! It's Relic Passage. Dang it! It's still the same. I thought I was really hoping for a new encounter there. But we're not going to get it. It's fine. We'll live with it. Um, We have to deal with what we deal with. Um, I want to make sure that our team is fully healed because we have a, pl a plethora of Pokemon Centers. Um, so if we didn't, when we weren't fully healed, we would have fixed that instantly. I don't think there's any hidden items. No, there's not. But there's a regular item. Uh, ooh. I, do I have anything that's weak to ground right now? I don't think so. Yeah, I do. What am I saying? I have Troll. Troll's weak to ground. But Troll's got healing, so I don't think I need to worry about that. This ship. Why is it so cold? I don't know. I'm wearing a jacket. Maybe you should just wear a jacket. And it seems like it's disguised as an old sailboat. But if it can't be it, it can't be it, right? No, it can't. Because we have to fight a bunch of people. The, the bad, villainous group. We finally get to really encounter the main plot of the story. Um, we get to see the ships and all that. Uh, and I don't know. I, this is definitely a scare. Because I don't know what level these things are. But I believe that we're fine. I think they're going to be like level 35 to 37. Which we're 38. So we'll find out. Ooh. 35 to 38. Let's see all. Okay. And that's a single person, so that's going to help. That that helps me gauge that we're fine, we're on par, we're doing fine. Fracture, that was a very annoying start. So I don't really, we don't have anything for it either, which is actually creating a massive issue with this team. Uh, I guess I got to go with Aeroblast, right? Like, that, I got to. 
Like, I'm gonna get hit hard no matter what. So I might as well hit for as hard as possible. You know what? That's special. From a fracture, I am not mad about that. Because that should not do too much. That's gonna do, like, 18 points of damage. 25. But, you know... <laughs> Here's my thing, though. Oh, I should have... I don't know. This is probably the safer play, though. I tried for safety. And it did work. So that's good. I If I would have actually gotten bitten in the butt for going to be playing it safe, I would be like, you know what? You know what? I get it. It's fine. I know. I messed up. I would have gotten that whole spiel. Now, there is really, I don't think, any... that This is an area that there's no healing in between. But after this, I think I can heal. So... What level 35 are you going to have? A Coven Grigus. Jeez. Oh, I got to go into my Snorlax. That's going to be my move on this. But wow. Okay, then. Be that way. Um, We actually are almost at the Force Fully Evolved point. The next gym leader is going to have 100% Fully Evolved Pokemon. Scary, scary. And even more scary. Um, so, I don't quite know. This is the first time we're actually going to use this combination, though. Focus energy into a Zap Cannon, which misses. Great. We know we're faster. So, there's a 50% chance this thing probably dies. We'll find out. I don't know. I could be really off. Oh, I wasn't off. I wasn't off. I wasn't off. We're good. That grudge is going to be annoying, though. I got to, like... Hmm... It tried zap cannoning. And it knows that it can safely zap cannon. Unless I want to lose all of my PP on my items. Which I can't because of the second battle. And I'm stuck on the ship until this entire thing is done. I'm going to I'm gonna waste a, I'm gonna waste a heal. Cool. That's fine. We have a 50% chance game. We are at plus four. Give me what I need. We have a plus four critical hit ratio. Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> I was going to maul. I was like, excuse me. We have a plus four critical hit ratio. That's a 50% chance to crit every time. So, it is not, and I forgot about it, but it is not generation three. Even though in generation three, it'd be a 100% crit rate. Woo! Um, yeah, this move that's actually like... That's a solid moveset. Yeah, see, now we have the time. Okay, so now let's do we... I think that we're forced to help Sharon first. Um, because Sharon goes, help... Help, uh... I think they say Gonzo. I don't think they actually go Hugh, which is good. But we'll find out. Oh, no! You get to choose. Well, we're helping freaking Sharon first. Um... Because I trust the gym leader to have better Pokemon. Oh. Oh. Horsey Bulldore. Oh. Why do you need help with this combination? I mean, the horsey could be annoying. We are... You have a... You have a Whale Lord. Okay. Yeah, you see, you're level 38 too. I'm gonna hope that your Whale Lord targets the Bulldore. It did. But I don't think it's gonna kill because... Oh, it did. Cool. That's it. That, 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 that's it. You, you, you can't, they can't move. Because energy ball kills the horsey. So now what's the second set? I am okay with that start. That's a good start for us. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh. Yikes. Because. I need to keep. Because the, the Feraligator is going to hit hard, right? We know that much. And if the Feraligator is going to hit on the defensive end, that basically takes out Snorlax from this equation. Troll could handle it. Um, tro yeah, Troll could handle it. But I also am still scared of getting, like, smacked up by this Feraligator. I honestly don't see the Vespiquen being that big of a problem when it comes to 
taking one hit from it. Frogator fainted. Okay, we're fine. That's only 30 base power. It didn't even hit me. We're fine. Waylord attacked the right mod. What the heck? Why did it, why did everybody attack the right things today? This is not normal. Um, Frogator should die to that. And now it's whatever this Slow Vespa Quinn did. We got the level up. What are you going to do? Air Slash, that's going to hit me. No! Fit! And we're faster! So I can either risk the air... No, I'm going to miss ball. I'm going to miss ball. Because Ooga Blip just is sitting here like a sitting duck and not even worrying about anything, which is so great, okay? I got to praise the Ooga Blip right now, um, which is not something I usually do because it's Ooga Blip, but... Ugo Blip is actually putting in work, and this is weird. Like, my team is my team is bad, but it's like coming together bad. Like Because I think everybody's really just adopted their role. Which is that's great. Like, Snorlax is just gonna be the one that crits a lot. It's Sir Crits a lot. We have we have Siren, who's just if if I need like a like emergency roll call, we're fine. Poliwag Pichu, what? Why? We're running into like, and uh, you have Beedrill. Okay, so we we sent out two poison types together, so that could be bad. What do you attack, though? I feel like the Poliwag is a bigger threat. But if the Beedrill... Bruh, my AI is actually working with me. This is not supposed to happen. The AI actually... Oh, that's a good target. That's a good target. That's a good target. Don't get burned. We're fine, troll. Great job. Um, but yeah, like... I'm surprised that the AI did not get in my way yet. Like, the AI usually gets in your way at this point. Or at some point in these double battles, they should have gotten in my way. They did not. And that is fine. Ooh. I'm going to cross poison the Clefairy because I feel like the Clefairy... The Drift Blip I can deal with. It's not... Again, it's very similar to Clefairy. Or, oh, see, there you go. There's what we were looking for. Ooh, that Beedro got hit hard. I mean, I'm down with uh, if they want to continue to attack that side so that I can fully heal and take basically essentially no damage from this section. Uh, I'm going to go. I'm going to pull off the toxic. I'm going to put the toxic up. Oh, the B drill did that. I thought for one moment that this Drift Blim just made a power play. Also, love that you just decided you wanted to kill your B drill off in that way instead of just switching. But you know what, Gonzo? You, you do you. Uh, why do you have that? But also, am I just silly? Or is it Generation 6 that they added that? It is Generation 6 that they made it so that it wouldn't miss. Oh, I'm so... It's weird because when you think about it and when you look at some of this, these, like, kind of things... You're like, oh, it's it's a problem. It's not a, it's fine, but because Generation Six was 2013, nearly a decade ago. Um, when you next year, a decade ago, and it's just like, oh, that's why I'm thinking it works this way, because this game was made in the game that I'm playing right now. I think is 2011, which makes me feel old because I'm literally like. Right in the middle, but whatever. Um, actually, what day exactly? <clears throat> what day exactly did this game come out? What day did Pokemon Black Two come out? Pokemon Black Two and White Two's initial release date is June twenty third, twenty twelve. 
Really? And X and Y was 2013, the year after? Wow! What? So this game, so this game is a decade old. Wow! What the heck? Okay, well, I mean, I guess I'm not quite. I'm on, the, wait, if this game is a decade old, then I'm on the older half of the, it doesn't help my case out, does it? Because <laughs> that means that I would have been turning 13 when this game came out. Oh my lord, eh? That's insane. Also, we actually get the lucky egg now because, um, little do you all know, I actually got my encounter and everything up top already, um, which I think I literally already shared off screen. It's a Lunatone, which is not that great, to be honest. I think it's, it, it is modest nature, so that's a positive. But other than it being a modest nature, I believe it's just pretty pointless. Because I don't believe it had any good moves or anything. Yeah, it didn't. It it it, it, it tried. To, it's trying to be physical, and it has color change. So, yeah, not very good. Um, <laughs> I was like, I remember it not being good. That's that's about all I remember. Um, which is again really weird because the random things that my brain just decides this is the part they are remembering is hilarious. Because you'd think that it just just find a way. Also, I got ten of those. I'll buy another 10 just for security's sake, but can we actually, oh my gosh, are we actually going to be able to, this is sketch, because we have this section, right, we've already, I've already completed 90% of this area, I can just skip that one trainer, because I completed those two trainers, I didn't lose anything, if I would have lost something, I would have been like, oh, by the way, I lost something. Oh, Fozzy, can you come with me a moment and come into here where you've already been? I didn't realize that you've already been here. Oh, here's Surf, by the way. Ooh. Who can learn that, though? Surf. I have a feeling we're not going to have a very wide variety. That would be the, tra that would be the truth. Um, Siren. Ah, the hard thing I have with Siren, right? Is like water pledge is viable. But oh wait, 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 wait. Curious is a mixed attacker. I've been running him physical and cure we can surf on the spiny curious. Honestly, magical leaf seems like the best move for me to get rid of. Yeah. Yeah, mag I, like, I think Magical Leaf's the best. Because I see Magical Leaf as, like, great. It doesn't miss. But it's still, it's not, like, the thing. Also, speaking of the thing, um, we actually have an encounter that we can go get if I can figure out how to freaking move. Wait, does it? can I go around the building? I th think, no, I can't. Oh, they changed this up on me. Why do they do that to us? They just change up things and make things complicated. That's not a shiny. My brain went into this is a shiny mode and it's like, no, it's not. Have you, has you, has your guys' brain ever do that? Where it's like, oh, that's, that might be a shiny. Like you're actually like on the swift lookout for one and you're like, oh. There it is. That's what I was looking for the entire time. Kind of a thing. Like, I don't know. My brain does that. And I'm just like, uh, brains, can you not please? Um, like, I want to uh, get what I want. Wait. Why did I hear Meloetta's cry on that? Did I? Did it just get revealed to me what I got? It totally did! Cobalion's a Meloetta! I was like, 
I can distinctly tell you exactly what that cry is because uh, you cannot not know what Meloetta is. So, like, okay. <laughs> I was just not in a place or prime frame of being like, oh, by the way, you'll run into Meloetta. It just was not even, it didn't even cross my mind. Meloetta's, an, an, it's another normal type. So I'm not really that. It's like, it's more of a way to tell you kind of a thing. And the fact that I just know what it, like, it, it, it makes me glow a little bit because it's like, oh, okay. Like, okay, well, this is a heel house, but surfing, that was so weird. I just was like, I just surfed on Curious. It just doesn't feel right also. Give me that item, please. Oh, that's a nice ability. Or ability. That's a nice TM. <laughs> Watch, I actually just replace Surf right now because I can. Okay, let's go to the most draw in the cave, though. Let's see what we can get out of this cave. I'm hoping for something good. Also, now, don't I have access to Kabalion or something now? Like, I can definitely get Kabalion from the cave, this cave. Speaking of normal types, it's another one, but I I feel like this is workable, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and metal claw and hope that metal claw doesn't do a lot because I don't think it will. It doesn't. Cool. I can do it again. That's again. It's another normal type. I think that's my only kind of qualm with this. Because the amount of normal types we've had is just kind of on the more ridiculous side. But Big Dog's Poke, this is Big Dog's Pokemon, so like, cool. Big Dog. Okay, well, we'll move out of here and. I'll, I'll see if I have access to that, because if I do, I might as well go claim that. But it just feels weird right now to go claim something, that, like claim legendary, because, well, I just feel like I'm happy-ish with the team that we have presently. Like, if if something bad happened, that's what I'd, that's what I'd have a little bit of a cow. But I don't think I don't think anything bad's gonna truly happen, especially this episode because we just got an encounter left. But if something bad happens in Charge to a Cave or after Miss Stralton, then maybe I can go get it. Which, speaking of, uh, what are you gonna give me? Don't you give me something, or do you just tell me how this Charge to a Cave works? Even though we literally know, yeah, you just tell us how this works. Okay, okay, Bianca Joy, you know we didn't just play a different game or anything. Oh, that's bad. Um, okay, our encounter in Charge Stone Cave could be good. All my encounters, I swear, are either, <laughs> just are all duplicate typings of some way, shape, or form. Gosh dang it, I was so proud. I was so ready to just talk up a storm about how great this encounter is and it's just a wingle i mean yeah we can catch it immediately that's that's great but like <sighs> i'm naming you sigh sigh was transferred to box one uh like Again, Wingle is not bad, and I'm not going to sit here and say that Wingle is trash and shouldn't exist and all that other stuff, because it's not a terrible Pokemon. It's just not the kind of Pokemon that I would prefer to use. That's simply it. Oh my gosh, this, this route was bad. So far from what I've seen, this route was rough. Flame Orb. Ooh. That would have been great when we had Marvel Scale. 
Oh. Dude. That's bad too. Well, there's a curious. Like, at least curious, I can be like, yeah, that's not a... That's, that's whatever. I can live with it. Power band. Okay. I mean, do we have a repel? Because this would be the time to use it. I swear we have a repel. We have to have a repel. Yeah, we do. I was like, we have to. I know it's not for a lot of steps, but we had to have it. There was, like, no way we did not have it. Like, I would know this game would be totally lying to me. Because I... I at least bought, like, one or two of them. I guess I only bought one, but I, th I thought I bought more. But I can trust the fact that I probably only bought one versus, like, where's all my stuff? Kind of ordeal. Okay. Refine effect wore off. And we're going to encounter something immediately. I don't know why that happened. It's like... It always happens that way, too. It's like, as, right, uh, directly as soon as Repel goes away, it's like, oh, yeah, all your stuff? Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's like, but, I mean, I guess, thank you, game. Oh, my gosh. Wiggly, I mean, again, another normal type. Like, Charged Stone Cave had nothing good. Straight up. I'm going to sneak behind this trainer. Like, yeah. That was rough. Anyways. Once we get out of, not, wait, not get out of the cave, but once we get ourselves set up in the cave, I'm going to end the episode, I think. Which I think we're basically there. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Love you all. Bye.